Guided Meditation The Door to Discovery Welcome to this guided meditation. I am Chloe. You are about to embark into a meditation journey. First, I will guide you into a deep state of relaxation where you will experience a wonderful calmness and meditative state of mind. This time is for you and you alone. Sit with your body in a comfortable and relaxed position, and slowly take a few deep breaths. Your legs should be a hips width apart, and your feet should be flat on the floor. Put your hands comfortably on your lap. Close your eyes and breathe normally. I once had an old friend who liked to go for walks. Walks around town. Walks in the country. Walks by the shore. And no matter where you are. My friend said. You can always find a pleasant walk. And I wonder if you can remember a time. When you went for a walk, somewhere nice, just for relaxation, maybe by a river, or in the country, or it could be a park or somewhere like that and maybe if you closed your eyes you can remember how pleasant it is. Enjoying that feeling you get. When you are amongst trees and grass and things you like. And far away from things that might disturb you. People remember different things. The breeze in your hair. The swish of your clothes as you walk. The warm sun on your face. Maybe the feel of soft earth under your feet. The smell of new cut grass or country air. Sounds of the outdoors. Freedom. Times like that can make you feel so good. And maybe if you take a deep breath now you can feel that feeling. That relaxation. Now. As you breathe out. 
and with each gentle breath out you might like to wonder how relaxed you can become. And you might be feeling that relaxation starting. And spreading. And sometimes in times like that you find your mind drifting away. To some place away from here. And you find yourself on a gravel path. And you can feel the gravel crunching under your feet. You can hear each step. As you go along comfortably. Wondering where this path might take you. And all around there's sunshine. Trees. Flowers. Everything is calm. And there's a sense of quiet and expectancy. And the path goes along and down into a dell. You have to go down a number of steps. And each step takes you down. Deeper and deeper. You go down each step. And counting. Five. Deeper and deeper. Four. Deeper and more relaxed. Three. Deeper and deeper. Two. So relaxed. One. Maybe more relaxed than you have ever been in your whole life. And then you find yourself in a large. grassy area, a clearing, it's quiet, and up ahead you can see a small building, it looks welcoming, and you continue across the grass, And you become aware of your feet. Making footprints in the dew. Everything seems fresh, clean, new. You walk up to the building. It's a very old-fashioned style. Almost like something out of an old book. And right in the middle is a door. And you look at that door. And wonder. Where it might lead. And you reach out your hand and you turn the handle in that door. You push it open and it swings open soundlessly. And there. 
to your surprise. The door opens onto a long corridor. It's amazing such a small building has such a long corridor. You realize that there is something special about this building. And you realize there is something you haven't seen before. Above the door some writing has been carved into it. And you go forward into that corridor. And away in the distance. At the end of the corridor. You can see another door. That door is brightly lit and looks welcoming. And along each side of the corridor there are many doors. And each of those doors is open just a crack. Just a little. And as you go along that corridor, You look at each door. And you stop in front of the door. And you bend your head. And you listen. And you realize that each of those doors opens into an area of your life. Starting from your very earliest years. Going up and up and up. Through each stage of your life. And you realize that if you listen closely, You can hear people talking. Or there might be a scent. A color. A feeling. Something that reminds you so strongly. Of that time and place. of that situation of what is going on now behind that door and each of those doors if you want to will open on to a situation And if it is a pleasant situation you can go through that door. And get in contact with it and enjoy it. Almost as if you were there again. And if it is not. Then you can put your hand on the handle of that door. And pull it closed. And lock it. And what you can do now. Standing at the entrance of that corridor. and all those doors there. You can go along. 
Examine all the doors on the left and the doors on the right. And pause in front of each door. And determine whether that door opens onto a situation which is pleasant or one that you would rather forget about because you know you don't have to remember everything There are things you can choose to forget. And there are things you can choose to remember. And many good things happened in your young life. That maybe you haven't had time recently to think about. But they are there. And they are there for you to enjoy. And maybe you might want to make a game of deciding each day what good things you want to remember that day. And what you will reserve for the next day. And the people in your life. Well, they had problems at times. And sometimes they didn't behave so well. But deep down they tried. Maybe in their own way. But they did love you. as much as they were able to at the time. And while it might seem that some people only had bad points, the reality is that they had good points too. It's something you can think about. They gave you memories. That maybe you couldn't deal with at the time. But you can reconsider them now. Things can seem different when you look at them from another perspective. From the outside. And you can choose how you want to deal with them. And you can start at the beginning. And look up that corridor. To that bright door at the end. And begin to pass through all the stages of your life. and go along and for each door put your hand on the door and open the door a little wider and determine whether that is a happy situation that you want to keep or one you'd rather not have around anymore. And if it is a pleasant happy situation for you, you can go in there. See yourself at that age. 
and enjoy all the feeling you have, those wonderful young feelings of joy and spontaneity, parties. Dressing up. Playing games. With friends. Reading. Whatever you really enjoyed. The times when you learned and enjoyed being young. And for the other doors you can put your hand on the handle. Keep still. And become aware in whatever way is best for you. Of what is going on in that room. And if it is not something you want to know about. If it is something best discarded and forgotten. You can pull the door closed. And it will lock. And you are protected from that. And you never have to feel those feelings again. And as you pull that door shut, you hear the click of the lock. And a huge bolt slides across. And that door changes. It begins to darken. And it begins to fade. And it becomes indistinct. Shrinks. Merges with the wall. So can't tell if it was even there. And that door fades right out of memory. When you look back that entire door has disappeared. There is nothing there now but a blank wall. So you take a bit of time now. All the time you need. You go along that corridor. Pausing in front of each door on the left and on the right. Or the right and on the left. Becoming aware of what is going on behind each door. And deciding whether you want to spend a little time in there. Maybe to enjoy those old feelings. To remind yourself of the all good times. Or whether it is a particular situation where you will close and lock the door. And move on quickly. And leave that behind. And then when you have dealt with all those doors, 
and are standing in front of that last door, facing into the corridor. Now decide what to either close them forever or enter and enjoy the delights within. And forgetting things that are not happy. Now take whatever time you need. And acquaint yourself with all the positive things that happened in your young life. And decide what things you want to leave behind. And when you have done that you can signal to me again. I see that. You have done some very good work today. All those doors that you have closed and locked. The feelings that were in those rooms will never bother you again. And all those doors where you opened and went in and enjoyed the situation. All those good feelings will be available to you. Today and tomorrow and whenever you need them. Whenever you need to be reminded that you have so many good things to think about. To remember. I hope some of this has been useful for you. Thank you for your mindfulness. This is the end of this session for today. I am going to count from 1 to 5 now and with each word I say, you will become more and more aware of the present moment, and ready to go about your day. One.
coming back now. Two. Bringing back the memory of nature with you. Three. Feeling refreshed and rejuvenated. Four. Feeling stress-free and ready to achieve anything. And five. Great. You may want to stretch your arms and legs. Welcome back and enjoy the rest of your day.